Big boy gun up in the mid. Full team turning corners. Mr. Olsen getting the pick. Pushing up now. Throwing the smoke. They can't see Mr. Austin being patient, looking for the four piece. Will they be or will they grow their manhood? Only time will tell. Mr. Austin gets another one. He's looking for that last pick. He sees him. Will he go for it? Can he get it? He's not even there. So he will instead. Goodbye, friend. And he gets the fucking four piece for the fucking championship. B tower pushing through ropes. There's gonna be two ropes. Chris, Chris. Chris decided not to listen to Mr. Austin and it took him down, down the deep and dark road. That is Loserville. Loserville, loser. If he wanted to be like Mr. Austin and be a champion, coming at the 5-5-2 KDA, he was going to have to make some changes. He just kept climbing and climbing. Couldn't make a decision. Viper sitting up middle. And he's pushing in hard. He had his ult. And he fucking wasted it. But Chris, he was sitting back ready to bust. And there he goes, getting a snipe at the middle. Well, it's about time for the team to actually make a decision and get good. Mr. Austin's going to lead the pick, hoping to get put down for another round minute and 45 seconds he's a little unsure if he wants to sit and wait that long he has the attention span of a six-year-old child with ADD he doesn't know how to make this play so he's going to push in just randomly and hope for the best here he comes in he's pushing heaven does he get the surprise he does and he goes down in flames at this point it was sure to Mr. Austin he was going to go down back to iron it was time to hit the weights again and he was always inspired by Arnold Schwarzenegger that he just had to go back to the gym after the quarantine had ended. You know, trim some pounds, build some muscle mass. Though Mr. Austin knew that he could do the same thing and gain some mass by going to the local McDonald's. Wasn't really sure about which was the better option, but he was convinced one was definitely tastier than the other. Would he be able to make it? Austin's about to get the ass burned, haired off. Language was defunct. Dot exe language. Last not working. Halted process. Ram could not compute. Two teammates remaining. Last, last round last and game. a half. It didn't look good for the Mr. Austin and Friends team. It was the first time an attorney for the eSports season for Valorant. And they weren't showing out, that's for sure. Mr. Austin with the sneaky sneak flank. About to put some lube on some buttocks. Slide right in. Get out of my way. Now he gets away with the sneaky escape. Got a little two pick. Mr. Austin waiting on the retaliation. They were pretty pissed off. They didn't like what just happened. That was for sure. And Mr. Austin wasn't taking no lip from no little fucking bitch. And so he came in with the big, big one plays. This is a family friendly show. So I'm gonna refrain from using those words again. But I will say, Mr. Austin definitely gave it to them. The show is almost to a closing here, folks. It's a 10-8 ball game, blue team, with the significant advantage of having a star player like Mr. Austin on the team is giving them greatness. It was very apparent this time there was an arrow at A. They were very much considering it. Two offers were on the table. I hear a lot of A. And Mr. Austin is appalled. He didn't know what to think there. He tried to dash, but the tick rate wasn't enough. His ping was actually pretty good. He was looking for an excuse, but there was none to be found. That's right, Mr. Austin coming up clutch, looking for the pick with the flank. This team was a little scatterbrained. They were surely going to rotate back. There was too much pressure. And Jet was looking for Mr. Austin like a little bitch. You like butts? 
And he gets the pick, and he gets the double pick. He's going in full force for the fucking kills. One enemy remaining. He had to reload. He was going hard for it. He was going to get it one way or another. And he got it with the four piece. Mr. Austin coming clutch, leading the scoreboard at 18 15 6. There was no one like him, and the world knew it as soon as he told him. You know it as soon as I told you. It was Grandma. Grandma, did you have cookies for Mr. Austin? Grandma, it was likely found out. Holy shit. Grandma's a man. It looked like Mr. Austin was in for a good Thanksgiving this year. He knew how to earn some cash, but Grandma was dirty enough to do it. Dude, Brian, you give me an announcer. Thanks, man. Follow my Twitch. Bruh. Bruh. Mr. Austin. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you got that golden voice. Thank you, good sir. Mr. Austin on Twitch. That's what you said? That's what I said. TTV. Mr. Austin TTV. I, I got you. I got you. I. And it looked like the teammates were going to be joining the stream soon. Mr. Austin be a little bit less lonely. Maybe he could earn a potential friend. Who would know? Only time would tell. And the magic goon rubbed one out on stream, insulted everyone. It was amazing. Teammates coming up, Grandma coming in on site. She's gonna give the big boom boom to the tap tap of the ass. She was gonna go make it clutch. Grandma coming in. Grandma got fucked by a reindeer. Couldn't really make the plays. And it's enemy teams leads up 1-0. You should read books and I don't know, put them online. There once was a man. Yeah. He walked across the street. He had a big dong hanging by his feet. He didn't know what to tell the kids, so he put rubber on, said hello, and goodbye, son.